What I want people to know about dreamers is that, um, you know, they should put themselves in their shoes and see what it feels like, you know, to, um, to be locked up without being locked up. There's nothing more powerful than a celebrity or someone in a position of influence mm -hmm. actually taking it upon themselves and reach back into the community. Mm -hmm. um, so on the same note, I just wanted to share my story with you. Yeah. When I first came from Belize, you know, being the only English-speaking country in Central America, mm -hmm. people don't see me as being an immigrant, mm -hmm. simply because I blended in with exactly. all the other black students. Yeah. So I didn't feel the need to speak out about my stories, about my experiences. Mm -hmm. It wasn't until I got into like my junior year of high school when it was time to start applying to colleges that I'm mm -hmm. like, girl, you can't what blend in anymore. You, <laughs> mm -hmm. you can't blend in anymore. You can't go under the radar simply because- You see, it's real. It's real. Mm -hmm. It's real, I saw. Yeah. yeah, you hit that barricade mm -hmm. where people talk about this glass ceiling. Mm -hmm. That was it for me. Mm -hmm. I see my face in only out because, you know, I came here in 96. But um, they didn't have the DACA program and stuff like that when I came. Mm -hmm. So for me, when I, when I got after 12th grade, they, they basically just told me I couldn't go to college. It's not fair for people, you know, that have families, that have, um, that have, that have a dream to become something else, you know? Right. Um, I'm originally from Michoacan, out of Mexico. Mm -hmm. So I'm um, 26. I've been here since 1992, since I was nine months old. So I tell people, like, I got here to this country crawling and I learned how to walk here. I went through all that. Mm -hmm. um, it was with my parents. So I always love emphasizing my parents because if it weren't for them, I wouldn't be here. When they were 20, 21, uh, they decided to leave everything behind, literally just a backpack and the clothes on their back, uh, and cross the border from Mexico to U.S. Um, and I made the journey with them. Um, their reasons were they didn't really see opportunity for me in Mexico. I'm 26, I want to have a family one day, but I don't want to bring even children into a world where, hey, they're going to be fearing the same thing I feared for so long, that their own dad is going to be deported. Since Obama made it happen and Trump came in and just took that away, I just felt like it was kind of like a racist thing to do. I'm here today to announce that the program known as DACA that was effectuated under the Obama administration is being rescinded. You could make it in this world without anything, you know? Like, f people started from, like, from the bottom, from mm -hmm. zero, mm -hmm. and they, they came Negative from... Negative one. Yeah, exactly. And, and now they're, they're all the way up. Mm -hmm. And... <laughs> 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 I feel like, you know, it's... it's it's something that a lot of people is going through, but they're not speaking on it. They have platforms like me. It's all about sparking the brain of somebody that's greater to help make this an issue, because it's, it's a real issue. That's not something that's, that's healthy or, or good in any kind of space. And you know, I just feel like, you know, having that, having that hurdle on your head and just waking up to it is, is it's not fair to anybody, you know what I'm saying? Because none of us belong here. We all immigrants. Right now. <laughs>